Good everyone, we're about to go through this what's up. I was kind of disappointed with the, the whole this week. We basically have nothing to do this week on this game, but basically grinding your characters, grind your characters up. So let's see what we got here. Um, uh, excited for August 25th. Technically it should have been, you know, this week. Looking annoying. And a new weapon and movement tuning. Let's click on that. Uh, it's basically from what last week's what's up so basically they're gonna add in that tuning the beta tuning we have been all playing if you click on the beta tuning or the even the Nash's only in the hill lately you're gonna put that in it's gonna be in the actual game now rank season begins PDM is 4v4 we already know that they've changed the GP values alright so ranks we got Bronze one to three points. If you guys want to check it out, it's right there. You could pause the screen. Name what the match entry cost. Seems like we will be earning <clears throat> a lot more points. Probably like two thousand points a game. It looks like because look at the cost now. It's five hundred for a game. So definitely changed a lot of things with the GP values. I would have to. Go into the game and play it out to see if it's better. Um, but yeah, that's it right there. You guys could pause the video if you want to see it. Uh, FFA, see here, first 2000. That's why I said it's probably total that you could get in the game is 2000 because the FFA right here. Um, Finally, we have more lot, lots more work planned. Uh, they want to be able to award the top players on each team. They want to ensure solo players feel properly rewarded. Addresses the impact of quizzers. Grant bonus GP for winning rounds. So if someone quits, or the quickest way to address this is like he gets a ban, like a certain amount of you know minutes ban until they get that thing that they're talking about before about like what was it it was like if they quit they would have to do like a task and quick play or something to come back to ranked but for now just make like a 30 minute band and like an hour band and like six hours and a whole day depending on how many times they quit uh to ensure solar players feel properly rewarded um they should just you know, I don't know, make a solo slash duo ranked playlist with all like a quick play, but like a, it would have like TDM, King of the Hill, Gridiron, all in one, and you, they would just search duo a solo queue. <clears throat> or top players for each team, probably like an MVP status, like, I don't know, I don't know how they could do that. Grant bonus GP for winning rounds. So this is something like for like the losing team, they could give them an extra like I don't know, f like 500 points for winning that round. Something like that. I don't know. I I would have had a better idea, but they changed the whole like GP setup, so like I would have to play it to understand. Let you guys know, but it's very confusing now. Um. For general patch notes, they fixed the sticky cover issue. I don't know about that issue, but there, apparently there was. Fixed the issue where the running scared metal wasn't tracking. Thank God I'm going to gain like 5,000 more coins now. They added Pahanu, Blood Drive, and Forge to the all 8-player FFA playlist. I haven't even tried that out, the 8-player FFA. They added Nash's only toggle to all custom verses. This is great. Love playing custom matches with the homies, and we just do Nash's only. But now, there can't be one little sh shitter trying to pistol me or something, being annoying because he's losing. Now you could just have the toggle on. It's great. I love to see that. Characters, you could pause, read that yourself, and the, all this other shit that they have here. 
and pause the screen, read it. Um, PVE changes, <clears throat> increased fortification, cost reduction. Don't like that. Increasing fortification stuff. If user locks all slots and sets starting wave to anything above one, board match will fail on wave zero upon loading in. What the fuck? I don't know. Progress for horde and escape achievements will now only count the mode with the highest stat. So, Mac, they increased his damage. Bloody shot, 65 to 80%, level 6. Increased damage multiplayer, max adrenaline junkie card from 65 to 80%. At level 6, that's pretty good. Lonnie, short range deflection now also provides resistance to melee attacks. That's pretty cool. Increased bleeding melee damage perk 100% to 150%. Level 10. What the fuck? It was just like, oh, this is probably like the, the perk in Horde. So that makes sense. So that's good. Baird added perks to max health, ultimate cooldown, fortification damage, and fortification health. Okay. Added perks for Dell for max health, ultimate cooldown, fortification damage, and fortification health. They also increased the damage of Dell's custom robotics card from 30 to 60% at level 6. Cat, she has those perks added. She's pretty shit, so it doesn't matter. It didn't do anything special. Coal reduced melee damage resistance on coal 70 to 60 percent. That's kind of annoying. Reduced damage resistance of coal's inner fire card 52 percent to 35 percent. Holy shit. Increased damage resistance of coal's damage dash card from 43 to 55 percent. Increased burning damage to coal's. Pyromania card from 60 to 100. Change assault rifle damage perk to damage perk. Okay. Paddock replaced ultimate cooldown perk with precision rifle damage. I guess that's fine. <laughs> Marcus reduced multiplier of Marcus rifle feedback card. Okay. Uh, Clayton reduced ultimate cooldown multiplier per hit on Clayton's heavy. Charger card, okay. Lizzie, <coughs> increased damage of Lizzie's Enforcer Expert. That's fine. Reduced damage of Foz's Ambush card. Ooh, that's a big hit right there. That might lower Foz's ability to play, maybe. Damn. They didn't notice he was going hard. Uh, they finally brought in the, tre the Trello. So you could stay in form. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what the Trello looks like. I have not signed up. I just saw this. So you got a belt, known, update and fixes, patch notes and useful. I'll put a, the link in the description down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for this what's up. Not surprised. Um, basically, they're giving us shit that we should have had this week. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, peace.